I think it's incredibly interesting that if you look at the life of Jesus, on how most people judge success, Jesus was a failure. At 30 years old, he was still living at home, a single guy living at home. Uh, you know, he hadn't done a whole lot. He had a few people that was following him around that called him rabbi. He, he had an itinerant ministry. And he put a lot of effort into it, but he didn't have a mega church. He was, was not the greatest well-known preacher around, but he did do a miracle or two. And it seems like his ministry had possibilities, and he fed thousands of people at one time, but, but he made a tactical mistake. The next time he saw these people, he said, you people just are here because I fed you. He said, Unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you can have no part with me. And they knew what he was talking about. They knew he was talking about, unless you make a covenant with me. In other words, if I make it, you make it. If I don't make it, you don't make it. Unless you are willing to make a covenant with me, you can have no part in me. And most, so many left him that he looked at the twelve and said, are you leaving too? But he did make some progress. The highlight of his ministry, I guess, was that day that he came into Jerusalem sitting on the back of a donkey and people gave him homage and veneration and they said, Hosanna to the King. And then in a strange turn of events, within 24 hours time, he basically is hauled before the rulers of his day on charges of telling the truth. And that will still get you in trouble in this world. He was charged with telling the truth and with a stacked jury, he lost an election to a criminal and they said crucify him crucify him and they beat him to within an inch of his life and they took him out and crucified him. He's dead at the age of 33 of failure by the world's standards. Oh yeah. There's one thing that he did right. He fulfilled the purpose for which he was sent here for. And aren't you glad that he did?